Hey guys, it's Dave here again, and I have a video today, and it's the most important video I've made so far, and I think it's the most important video I will ever make, or could ever make, because it's so powerful. Now, it's not anything I've created, it's just an experience I want to share with you. It's about meditation, and if you implement this, try this out. I'm going to make a claim here and the claim is that I think if you try this you will have an experience in meditation. You may have heard people say, maybe you've said it yourself in the past, you know I, I don't get meditation, meditation isn't for me, I've never had an experience in meditation, it's not working. If you do this, and keep an open mind with this, it's so simple what I'm going to say here, I think you will have an experience in your next meditation. So let's jump in. So I'm going to outline three mistakes and then I'm going to give you a different alternative approach. So three mistakes we typically make in meditation. Now, how do I know these mistakes? I've made these mistakes. I've made all these mistakes. So if you can actually get to a place where meditation works for you, it is amazing. Okay, it, it will change your life. There's no doubt about that. But not if you do this. <laughs> not if you do what I did for years and years and uh, frustrate yourself and get uh, nowhere with it and just think you're like a spiritual dummy or something. So first mistake, what is the first mistake we make with meditation? And now this is, by the way, some of this is going to annoy people, okay, because uh, some, uh, it's based on a lot of the advice I took from other people, you know, experts in meditation and things, and uh, in my opinion, it doesn't work. So I'm going to share with you what worked for me. So whatever I say here will annoy some people. They'll think I'm wrong. They won't agree with it. But uh, you know, I'm not here to say that this is the only solution. I want you to try this and see what you think of this. You can tell me below in the comments if you like, if you think I'm full of it or, uh, or not. But I do try this myself personally and with other people and uh, it seems to be paying huge, uh, giving big dividends for us. So first mistake is you keep track of how long you meditate. Let me repeat that. You keep track of how long your meditation sessions are. Now, the problem with timing your sessions is that the benefits of meditation are not time sensitive. They're not time related. In other words, you could meditate for 30 seconds and have the experience you're after with meditation. Alternatively, you could meditate for 45 minutes or an hour. Or an hour and a half and here's the thing people won't like to hear it could be a complete waste of your time that is just the way it is as far as i'm concerned the feeling of relaxation or the other benefit i'll talk about in a minute can come to you in meditation in an instant after five seconds as soon as you're doing it it can just be there okay so you don't it's not about oh well i did 45 minutes you know I'm making progress. Look how long I meditated for. No. Okay. Now I can, I can see how that would frustrate people because, you know, we put in all this effort. It's not about effort. Okay. It's not about how hard you work in meditation. It's kind of the opposite of that, actually. Okay. Now, so that's the first one. Now, bear with me. I will be giving you an alternative to all of this. If, if, if this is like pulling the rug out from Monday right now in terms of how you've been approaching this. The second one is the belief you have about meditation. It's the belief that you think in meditation there is something to master. There is nothing to master in meditation. You think that if you're consistent enough, if you do long enough sessions, that eventually you'll get good enough and then one day you'll get it. Okay, that's the problem. Okay, that's not how it works. The reason for that is that this leads to something I call bulldozing in meditation. 
bulldozing is when you feel resistance to doing meditation or you're feeling just that inner conflict about uncomfortable I'm uncomfortable in a meditation but I power through I just power through because I'm going to achieve something here in this meditation I'm going to do this for half an hour or 45 minutes right so you bulldoze through the resistance that is a problem because what you need to do is you it's all about just simply non-aggressively becoming aware of your resistance while it's coming up okay becoming aware of your need to go and do something other than meditation or becoming aware of my unwillingness or my uncomfortable feeling around simply being here sitting still that's the whole point of meditation it is uncomfortable okay and becoming aware of that and not bulldozing through that is the solution to this okay believe me it's just it, it, it's a, it's a mindset shift in this now when you become aware of your resistance and you stop trying to bulldoze through it you stop blaming yourself because you have the resistance then you gain everything it's like a whole new world uh, opens up to you in meditation okay so the second one is you think there is something to achieve or master in meditation so you're forcing your way through it there is nothing to master in meditation which brings us to another point the third one is you see meditation as something to take off a to-do list okay it's your practice and your pride yourself and how disciplined you are and how uh, conscientious you are and uh, how great you are with self-development so you're going to take that off your list and feel like you've made progress again it's not about doing it's not about achieving and, and kind of telling this thing about well i've ticked it off the list today so i must be making progress it's actually not true okay it's actually not true it's something other than that it's about becoming less of a doer less of an achiever that's the goal of meditation and it, it, that is a huge, huge prize, by the way. Like, that can be achieved, and I'm going to talk about that now in a, in a second. But how we can actually do this, it brings uh, an indifference about things. Now, we still want things in the world and outside of meditation. Of course, meditation is all about how we behave outside of meditation, by the way. Um, bringing that into our daily lives. But it's about being indifferent to things, not being reactive to things. Being okay within my own body not needing desperately things to go my way externally it's about starting to see kind of the silliness of our to-do lists so and again it's it's also a way of having it on a to-do list a to-do list well what if i don't do it then am i bad at, at meditation what's wrong with me am i lazy okay so it's not on your to-do list that's not the way to think about this so with all that said, those are the three mistakes. Okay, the three mistakes in meditation. They are, you think you need to keep how, uh, track of how long you meditate. You think there is something to master in meditate. And if you bulldoze through it, you'll finally get it. Okay, and also you think it's like something to do, tick off a to-do list. Here is how you're going to get the experience. And you can get it the next time you meditate. Two steps, and I have them written here in front of me. And I'm going to share them with you right now. The first step is accept whenever you have resistance to meditation. Become aware of it. It's not laziness. It's called resistance. It's a thing. Okay. And become aware. Just, just simply becoming aware of the resistance is the key. Okay. And in the meditation, what you're becoming aware of, what you're observing is you know you're not trying to achieve anything master anything you're just becoming aware of my own resistance to actually being here my own resistance to sitting still and be silent for a few minutes or however long it is okay <laughs> we're not timing it remember okay it's just about becoming aware okay this feels uncomfortable this feels uncomfortable why do i why what's wrong that i can't sit here like this it's called resistance and it's not to feel bad about it. it's the whole point of meditation so become aware of your resistance. Here's a second thing we do. 
simply sit in position wherever you meditate with no time expectation and no effort and watch your resistance see how long it lasts and that is complete success if you are that conscientious person i talked about that has a to-do list that's it as soon as you're sitting in position tick off the list okay i don't have to sit here for half an hour or 45 minutes or an hour or two hours whatever it is just being here and observing how resistant i am to doing this is complete success okay take all the pressure off yourself there's nothing to achieve there's no expectations for how it goes there's nothing to do and there is no effort on my behalf other than to become aware about how resistant i am there is a line in the in the text the course in miracles that says only infinite patience brings immediate results so we need to become aware of how resistant we are to it if if there was no resistance when it comes to meditation in the world everyone would be meditating easily but we don't we avoid it okay and we beat ourselves up because we don't do it so remember the two steps okay become aware of your resistance to meditate and that's what you're going to be aware of during your meditation and other than that you just sit still no effort no expectation don't try anything and sit there for as long as you sit there and that's it complete success now if you do that you will start to get in touch with your inner doer, your inner need for external outcomes will become very obvious to you. And becoming aware of it means that it won't uh, sabotage you or take control of your life. You start to become a lot more relaxed and uh, take life as it comes more. So again um, maybe this advice this video has annoyed some people i hope it hasn't because that's not what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to give people who are beating themselves up because they can't meditate or would love to get some of these great benefits of meditation i'm trying to show you a way in here okay or a way if you've been doing it for a long time to just finally get some benefit out of it or some genuine experience because what are we trying to do with meditation meditation it's not how long we do it for it's about finding a true experience that is what meditation is for. It's just about the, the, the depth of the truth you find in the experience. Okay, so that's the video. I hope it helped you. I hope it does help you. You can let me know what you think below. If you like, you can email me and uh, on my website, drdavidmaloney.com. The link is below. And, um, you know, do all those things. If you want to help me out, you can subscribe and you can maybe like the video or share it. And I do one-to-one -one sessions as well. Uh, counseling and psychotherapy sessions online skype ones and in my practice too so guys thanks so much for watching this i hope it helps and i'll see you in the next video take care of yourself